Hi, my name is Mark Poulton. I'm a real estate investor in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area. I'm what you would call a no frills, no thrills real estate investor. Look over somebody who's got a shiny car in the background, nice studio office, or someone who's trying to sell you $19.95 a month subscription to their newsletter. I'm not that guy. Check out a different channel. So I was listening, or I was going through YouTube today before I started heading out to go to one of my properties to start to work on it. And um, as usual, I come across a Robert Kiyosaki video. He's really trying to uh, appeal to millennials at this point, and he's taking a lot of his long-form information. You know, he's got an hour-long podcast once a week that actually, you know, I, I discovered by, on our local talk radio channel, and he's condensing it down into five to 15-minute bites. You know, millennials' um, attention span, in fact, most people's attention span, especially on YouTube, is no more than about seven minutes, <clears throat> and it's still good information. And so today, the video came across, and I'll, I'll link it below. He was basically going through, um, the, the basic topic of it is, are you a slave? And most people are. If you're having to work a nine-to-five job, if you have to leave your home to go earn money that, and get a paycheck that somebody else signs, you're basically a slave. And if, and if you look on it, if you look back on your life, you're probably going to have to agree to this. Most people throughout their life are going to live paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. And basically what they're doing is they're trading eight to 10 hours a day, sometimes more, five to seven days a week for um, a paycheck that as soon as it comes in within you know a week or so, all the money's gone. And then you're going to r- rinse and repeat and do that again. And to me, that's a definition of a slave. And basically, you know, his premise that he he's trying to get across and this is what really uh, attracted me to Robert Kiyosaki is he tells you what rich people tell their kids and what rich people talk about. And rich people don't work for money. And this was a very difficult concept for me to get my head around. I've always worked for money. No one's ever really given me any money. I've always had to trade time and labor for money. And a concept of rich people who have lots of money or at least lots of assets don't actually work for money. Um, was very foreign to me. It took me a long time to to wrap around this concept. And basically what he's saying is rich people make money work for them. And which is basically what buy and hold real estate is. I buy assets, oftentimes without my own money. Um, I've gone to closings and I remember this one closing on a house. We haven't actually rehabbed yet. Um, I was expecting to actually walk away from a closing with, Five or six hundred dollars, but at the last minute, the uh, the lender who was financing whatever I wanted made me pay his lawyer's fee. It is what it is. So I ended up having to pay like one hundred and twenty-five dollars. So here's a good lesson for you. I was able to buy an income. Pro- well, it was income producing at the time. It's sitting empty right now. We're going to rehab it so that we can jack up the rent. Uh, an income producing asset, and it cost me one hundred twenty-five dollars at the closing table. That's uh, that's pretty powerful. And that just comes from knowledge and experience on how to do this. But rich people buy assets and um, those assets produce money for them. And they often will do that without anybody else's money. And it's, and it's kind of a rolling thing. Once you get you know, a certain quantity of assets under your, uh, under your belt, you know, appreciation may or may not set in, depending on if it's a, uh, a five unit or a four unit or less, you, know, you can increase the value of that property by sweat equity, by improvements, if it's five or more, uh, you know, it's all based upon the rent roll that you get is how much the property is worth. Obviously, location, you know, plays a little bit into that as well, but typically the better location, the more rent you're going to get. Uh, If you don't understand these concepts, then you probably need to become a little bit more financially uh, literate as to how... uh, Assets, and we're talking assets and, you know, residential assets, um, how they're valued and, and, and yada, yada, yada. So oftentimes you can take an existing asset that maybe you bought for 100 grand is worth 250 now, and you can roll that. You can sell it and roll that into a much larger asset. And this is a, a really cool concept where you can exponentially increase uh, you know, your, your buying power or your asset purchasing power. See, 
to buy a $5 million asset, you don't need $5 million. You need about a million. So if you have a home that's worth a million dollars now, or two homes that are worth $500,000 now, but you only paid, you know, a hundred grand for them each, that's pretty powerful. You can take that money, you can sell those assets, you know, that are worth a million dollars now, and you can go out and get $5 million worth of uh, real estate, and you get all of the tax benefits um, of, you know, that $5 million, even though you only put a million of your own into it. And honestly, it wasn't really a million of your own. It was 200 grand of your own. Um, and the probably not even that. And the people who lived in those two homes actually paid for the mortgage and upkeep and everything like that. So, you know, it may take you some time, depending on the economy, where you are. Real estate is always local. But, you know, for very little dollars, you know, five or 10 years later, you can turn maybe it costs you 20 grand, actually a down payment for each one of those assets. You can turn 40 grand into 5 million and it's not that hard to do. Anyways, rich people don't work for assets is, or work for money is, is the big takeaway from that particular, um, that particular video. He also says only idiots pay taxes. Um, I guess I'm a partial idiot. I'm a I think 2017, I paid 5.4% effective tax rate. Uh, I was really proud of 2016. I think I paid 1.34% effective tax rate. 2018, we'll find out. I suspect it's going to be, I don't know, hopefully less than 5%. But who wants to pay taxes? God, I mean, um, really, you, you, you got to be an idiot to want to pay taxes. And there are ways to not pay taxes legally. Anyways, I hope you go out there. Oh, Anyways, those are my thoughts on uh, on why rich people don't um, don't work for money, why um, rich people don't really pay taxes. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you go out there and live the you won't stop me lifestyle. I can tell you this: you're not going to stop me. I'm going to continue to grow this business, and um, I mean, f you money is just around the corner. I wish you success.